what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i know i look absolutely crazy right now i have to get ready for the day today is p.o box thursday so i have to get ready for that but if you are new to this channel girl make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications girl so you can get notified every single time that i post okay y'all quick little intermission in this video i just want to say thank you to lathan hair dryer for sponsoring this hair dryer now before you guys fast forward i need you guys to really pay attention and look at how fast this hair dryer freaking does my hair it does my hair in half of the amount of time that a regular blow dryer would and I didn't even own a hair dryer before because of how damaging it is to my hair but since this literally is so fast and it has three settings it has cool warm and hot my hair gets done so freaking fast so I'm gonna diffuse my hair really quick and I'm gonna set a timer because I want you guys to see how fast this actually works on my hair because when I tell you guys this hair dryer is so good not to mention it's not even that noisy like y'all know how like the old hair dryers are like hey and making all that noise no this one does not do that so let's diffuse my hair really quick and then we'll get right back into the video okay okay y'all so this is what my hair looks like in a matter of let me stop it right now three minutes and 51 seconds it's literally dry now so this is what it looks like when my hair is diffused it looks so much better than when my hair is without a diffuser but you guys it literally did it in a matter of almost i gave it like 20 extra seconds like three minutes and 30 seconds basically and i know some of you guys are like jay that is too long for a hair dryer but do you see how much hair i have this is a lot of hair okay it doesn't get dry in 2.5 seconds but with this blow dryer it's literally a lifesaver it just brings out my curls and it makes it look so good and it's so fast i literally love this hair dryer i will never get another one again because this one is my favorite and this comes off if you need it to and if I dried my hair without this on it It literally probably would have been done in like two minutes, but my hair is curly So I had to use the diffuser. But anyways, I literally love this hair dryer It makes me feel so good. It makes my hair so sleek and so soft and it really defines my curls and it's super fast It doesn't make a lot of noise so if you've been looking for a super good hair dryer and you want to invest in a really good one, I will have the link for you guys down below. And I want to thank you, Lakefoot, again for sponsoring this video. And let's get right back into the get ready with me. Okay, y'all. So I have to get ready for the... Hello? Okay. So I have to get ready for the day. Um, it is Thursday, like I mentioned, and I look crazy. I was gonna wear my cute robe. This robe is really worn out. It is my makeup robe. I don't really like to wear this robe on camera just because it's very dingy, doesn't really give. I definitely do need to get a new one, but I wore a pink robe in my last video, so I didn't wanna wear one again in this video. Anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into getting ready, girl. First things first, I'm the realist. Um, I'm gonna be using the chocolate eyebrow pencil from NYX. Ooh, chocolate. It's not actually chocolate, baby. Oh, is it chocolate? No, it's not actually chocolate. But, y'all, I am kind of a little all over the place because I just am. But me and Prince are going camping this weekend, so I'm super freaking excited. Technically, we're going, like, glamping because it's going to be an RV. But it should be super freaking fun. Pretty soon, I want to collab with uh, this one person that i talked to on tiktok but she lives in texas so me me and prince would have to go there i don't know i definitely want to start traveling too with prince and stuff like that because i'm like always at home and it does get a little boring sometimes and it's kind of hard to always film content whenever i'm at home i'm also so blessed to even be able to work from home because literally y'all like when i tell you guys when i used to work at like hooters and walmart and stuff i would always have to like ask my mom to watch prince for me so that i could go to work and stuff like that like it is not easy working and having a kid and girl if you are going through that right now i am so sorry and you will get through it but it is definitely so freaking hard especially when your child is like too little to even like be in school and stuff i mean i guess you could put them in daycare but like that's so scary but at the same time like you gotta do what you gotta do and the reason why my hand my face does not match my hand is because i don't have any self tanner on my face right now i feel like i'm in such an awkward Hopefully they're okay. I feel like I'm at such an awkward, um, whatchamacallit, such an awkward angle. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out why there is so much drama going on lately. I hate that shit. Like, I would just rather not even be involved in anything like that. And I feel like lately, it's just been spiraling everywhere. Like, ew, please, ugh, please just leave me out of it. But anyway, y'all, I literally bought a $500 Nespresso machine. I meant... 
I bought a $500 espresso machine. I need to fix this. And I'm so freaking excited to use it. Okay, I had to fix my headband because my hair was like coming through the sides. But oh my gosh, there's another freaking ambulance. I really hope they're okay. I'm gonna be using the LA Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Vanilla to carve out my brows. But what have you guys been up to? Like what is going on? Hold on y'all, I'm gonna have to carve my eyebrows and be right back because I cannot do my eyebrows and talk at the same time okay y'all i am back and now i'm gonna be using the Too faced hangover primer but y'all let's talk about the um freaking adam levine and sumner stuff because why is everybody coming for this girl like i get it she slept with him whatever but like the fact that every single time something happens with celebrities or whatever everyone wants to bash the girl but nobody wants to hold the man accountable like it's really sick and it's really disgusting but nobody ever wants to hold the man accountable anyways thank you next um and it's really just gross and like the fact that like if that never would have gotten released his child really would have been named after this lady like what the hell is going on like what is this world coming to i'm so confused when i saw that video i was like oh my god this is gonna get really big because i already knew i already knew people were gonna come for her even though they really should be coming for Adam because or what are you doing at your big grown age? Anyways, um, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline 30 hour foundation in light tan 140. Me and Prince are supposed to go on a this looks so bad. <laughs> Trust the process, y'all. Okay, anyways, me and Prince are supposed to go camping this weekend and I'm a little nervous, like I said. I don't even know if I said any of this. I think I already did it. I don't freaking know. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's so hard for me to do anything, like two things at one time. Like in my last video, whenever I was doing the um, wing stop video, y'all do not understand how hard that was for me to talk and eat at the same time. Like I just be in my own little element. Like whenever I'm eating or doing my makeup, I want to just be alone and like just focus on what I'm doing and relax. But sometimes I have to film during those times and it's a little difficult, can't even lie. But so many of you guys have been asking me about how I became a content creator and like how I started like what is my best advice and literally my best advice to anybody who is like wondering if they should um, be a content creator like what are my best tips is first to just start even if you don't have a setup you don't have whatever first of all on TikTok you don't have to have a setup like people love relatable stuff they love to feel like they can relate to someone especially you know if you don't have like a whole bunch of aesthetically pleasing stuff and for a long time I didn't have aesthetic be pleasing anything if you go back to my old videos everyone used to be like oh my god i thought your room would be so much cuter da, 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 da. and now that like i have been able to buy certain things for myself everyone's like saying stuff about the stuff i'm buying but like my money not yours anyways um yeah so you literally just have to start and like the best time to start would be now because like you know what i'm saying like what are you waiting for like i started social media when i was like 19. i started social media whenever i was 19 and it took so long to like um get recognized and for people to like really start watching my videos and stuff but i would literally just like see like what was trending and i would follow one of the trends like on tiktok and use it to apply to me and then they ended up blowing up so literally you just have to like think of like what content that like something from your life that would like you know do good or even if it's just, if it's just speaking your mind about certain stuff it's bound to get views especially on tiktok and whenever tiktok was like new whenever i had my old channel i had started using tiktok to like do videos for youtube like creating tiktoks but like on youtube because it used to be like a dancing app but then it started to turn into like the platform that it is now and i started to use it more and I was like, dang, well, if I can use this app to like, you know, bring people over to my YouTube, like that's what I'm gonna do. And that's literally what I did because TikTok is so, like there's so many people on the app right now. Oh my God, my self tanner looks so disgusting, but you gotta get it where you fit in. And TikTok is what's hot right now, whether people like it or not. I personally have like a love-hate relationship with TikTok because they their community guidelines are bullshit and like people can comment whatever on your videos but the moment that you clap back it's a problem but back to my tips for being a content creator this is the same concealer I use for under my eyebrows you literally just have to start and like just think about like the type of videos that you want to make and sometimes like you never know like the videos that you put the least work into will probably be the ones to blow up because like that happens all the time with so many different creators like the thing that you don't think 
think is gonna blow up is probably gonna blow up because you don't know the algorithm the algorithm you just have to literally go with it and hope that the algorithm goes with you because tiktok is like a different breed for the algorithm and it doesn't even matter how many followers you have because you could easily just lose like the following that you do have you could easily just like like you could have two million followers and you could post something and it could get like less than ten thousand views so it's all just in being consistent sorry y'all i'm like trying to find my stuff okay now i'm going to be using the la pro conceal concealer in toffee and this is the morphe v105 brush but it's really just all in like you know the work that you put in and being consistent like literally that's all it is you just have to start and you have to be consistent and obviously as you get more oh i did not see what's coming out on that side oh my god obviously the more like supporters you get and stuff like the more you'll know what's opposed because you'll see what they like and it'll feel like it's actually paying off but like everyone has to start from somewhere and you can't just like expect it to like blow up overnight some people do but that's very rare and a lot of people have to start from somewhere but yeah a lot of people don't know i've been doing this for so long like it takes a long freaking time i was watching bailey Syrian the other day and i was like I wonder when Bailey started YouTube because I saw that she has like what six million subscribers or eight million or something like that. Okay, y'all, I had to get printed some crackers, but um, literally, if I had to think back, if I had to think back to what I would tell like my 19 year old self as far as social media, this is what I would tell her. I would tell her one, start posting whatever you like, whatever it is, whatever genre of content creation you want to be in. Go ahead and start posting at least once a day. And second of all, people are gonna start to hate on you. Like whenever I first started to um like kind of like get a lot of like recognition on TikTok, this was when um my video was it was about prints. I was not used to like it went from like me literally having like no views and stuff like that on TikTok to like people literally blowing up a video about prints. And when I tell y'all, it was so hard for me not to like let it get to me as far as like prints and stuff like that. Like I just did not like people talking about him. Like it really just bothered me. And as a mom, you know, like you can talk about me all you want. To but when it comes to my child don't fucking speak on him and that's really how i felt and especially because he was a baby baby and it was just so hard like it used to eat at me like how am i not supposed to say anything to these people and i would be like answering whatever whatever so if i had to like talk to myself um like the the me that i know now like being the content creator that i am if i had to talk to myself back then i would literally just be like girl these people are not thinking about this comment after they post it they literally post it and they go away because they just want to feel like their opinion is valid they want to feel heard and they just want to be saying shit just to say shit i would just tell her like you don't need to worry about what anyone else has to say because why it literally does not matter something that like has to do with content creation but at the same time some people are gonna be like what is the fact that you're the only person that is going to get you where you need to be if you want to be a content creator that bad you're going to do what you need to do you're gonna do what you need to do to be a successful content creator and that's exactly what i did like when i tell y'all there were so many people that used to be like oh like you know like just shit on me for doing social media and they would just think it's like phony or whatever because i come from a really small place like don't nobody where i'm from be on social media like that so the fact that like i was doing it and like you have to start from somewhere to some people it's cringy and it is cringy i guess like if you look at it that way like she really thinks she about to do something like she's posting but like nobody's watching her stuff or whatever like bitch watch me watch me and that's literally the mindset that you have to have watch me you're not gonna do it and those same people when once you start to blow up they're gonna be the same ones in your dms talking about some oh my god oh my god this oh my god that and you'll realize if you want it bad enough and you're a good human being you'll realize why you did blow up on on um social media or like why you were the one that was able to make it out out of other people because certain people do not deserve fame and they really don't like at all or recognition at all because they will let that shit get to their fucking heads and it's sick and it's disgusting i've had so many people tell me like oh my god like i'm surprised you even go back into the places that you used to work i wouldn't talk to nobody if i had that much following like you better than me this is why da -da -da -da. like babe because i'm not that type of person i'm not like that i don't care like i what i care about is my genuine relationship with my supporters and continuing to grow and work hard for what i have i don't care about how many followers i have as in like oh my god i have two million followers like 
like look at me like no that is a disgusting mindset and certain people like that are obviously there is certain people like that who do like blow up and get famous whatever but like that mindset is so fucking disgusting it's so gross and like for instance like with the whole shit with me being on the shade room i've been on the shade room twice now one was for pink sauce and the other one was for we're not even we're not even gonna give that any attention, but um, cause I've already talked about it on my Instagram and I'm not gonna continue to bring light to the situation. But anyways, everyone's like, oh my God, bitch, you made it to the shade room. No, I don't even look at it like that cause I don't even like to be in messy ass shit like that. But like people asking you to like speak on certain situations to like continue and drag out certain stuff. Like I'm not speaking, that's not my situation. That has nothing to do with me and I'm not speaking on it and I don't have. To. And that's another thing too as a content creator, you just have to realize this is my platform. Like people are gonna ask you to do certain stuff. They're gonna ask you to speak on certain stuff. But if you genuinely in your heart do not feel like it is right to, for you to speak on certain stuff, you don't have to. And I feel like that's the problem is a lot of people feel so so pressured to give people a response for what for what they're just gonna drag it out like babe much love to you have a good one thank you next like it's like seriously it's that simple but a lot of people like they look at that shit like free clout like there were so many people like oh my god you're in the shade room like don't even let this bother you you're getting free clout babe i don't need this shit to get to where i need to be you see what i'm saying like that is just it's just not in me that's not my mindset i literally could not like i don't give any fucks about that shit as far as like clout and shit like they're like that shit is weird to me but there are people who genuinely and like that's the thing too like if you're looking to be a content creator just to you know get clout and like money and stuff like that like babe you're gonna be hurt when you see your views aren't doing what you want them to or like you know what i'm saying like you have to want this shit and you have to really work hard to get to where you want to be on social media because it's not easy and it takes everyone everyone's um social media like careers like they blow up at different times people will blow up for different reasons and another thing is one thing that i've learned is if you're wanting to do social media right oh yeah this is the huda beauty powder and pound cake if you're wanting to do social media you think that people are gonna love you and like you're not used to getting hate like babe it's going to happen you're not going and not everyone's gonna like you and that was something really 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 Really, really hard for me to comprehend at first like I literally just did not understand like why are these people hating on me like I don't even be doing shit like I really just be minding my own business I just be minding my own business and like I like just did not understand like I just didn't get it because I personally would never sit there and like comment certain stuff on somebody's page and like you know do all that stuff but there's people out here who would do that and it was so hard for me to accept at first the fact that there is people who genuinely will never be happy with themselves and all they have to do with their time is like talk shit but me now like i've just become so numb to it almost that i'm just like at this point y'all are gonna talk regardless like y'all have nothing better to do and you're talking about me like obviously i'm doing something right because you're talking about me like that's just how you have to look at it because sitting there and arguing and going back and forth with people one it's not a good look obviously you do have to stand your ground at some point in times because people will try to drag your name and you can't let people drag your name through the mud like you're gonna have to stand up for yourself sometimes but for every single hate comment just sitting there and giving people the time of day and the energy and just like like no like literally just they don't give a fuck after they write that comment so read that shit and move on to the next but um yeah wanting to be on social media stuff is so much easier than it used to be and i feel like tiktok provides such an easy way for so many people to have a platform especially single moms and stuff like that so like if you've seriously been thinking about being a content creator and you just don't know where to start or anything like that literally my only advice is to start whatever content you like go ahead and try to, to join that genre and just start making videos that are like related to the stuff that you watch you know what i'm saying like just start that's it's what is it gonna hurt and that's the thing too like people think it's so funny when they go back and they look at like the old videos of when you first started and they think they're doing something like girl i had to start somewhere just like you had just your first day your first job it was probably cringy like i'm trying to figure out what's so funny but um this is the juvia's place bronzer palette in medium and i'm gonna be using the morphe m405 brush to bronze my face i really hope that like helps anyone who has been like just looking for you know ways to start things that they wanted to do 
for a second. I didn't even know if I was recording. And another thing is everyone keeps asking me how I'm okay being alone. I don't even know how to answer that question because it's like, how do you just become okay with being alone? There's not really like any steps that you take towards that. It's kind of just like, you have to deal with it. Like, like I always say, I've been in relationships for a really long time and I just recently have finally been able to like be by myself and take a step back and I feel like now more than ever i'm so in tune with myself it is fucking insane and it's scary because not many people know this but especially when you're in the wrong relationships like you literally lose yourself like you are not the same person in a relationship that you are when you're alone and you can actually think for yourself and you're not depending on somebody because one thing about me if i'm with a man i'm depending on you for directions i'm depending on you to navigate through them all i'm depending on you for like the smallest thing not financially because I'm pretty, I'm really independent when it comes to that. But I don't know, like, when it comes to, like, opinions, what, like, I wear, or, like, what I think about certain stuff. Like, I'm always like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? But when you're alone, you really have to, like, you just become, like, so much more in tune with yourself. That's just my opinion on that. And I think everyone, especially if you've been, like, you know, constantly in new relationships and you haven't been alone for a while i think the best thing is to be alone just so you can find yourself even if it's for like a year or whatever and like the fact of the matter too is like when you've been hurt so many times and you are trying to like jump into another relationship like you're only gonna hurt that other person because you haven't healed from like past traumas and stuff i'm using the same bronzer to contour my nose and this is with the b h I don't know what brush this is. It's like a thin, a little thin brush, but I don't even know what I was saying. I always do that. Sorry, y'all. I had to get quiet to contour my nose, but now I'm just gonna blend it out with a fluffy brush. Yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. If anybody's wondering how my cats are doing, they're doing good. They are crazy. They're always so hyper and playing with each other. And surprisingly, knock on wood, they have not really been messing with my closet beads lately, like, or at all since I've had them. They literally don't really care about them, which is a good thing because, honestly, if they messed with those freaking beads every single day, they would have been torn down by now. And Prince is doing so good in soccer. One of his first games is coming up after this weekend, and I'm so freaking excited. And I have so many ideas for my business. I genuinely just need to start. Like, I need to get my ass up, and this is me holding myself accountable. Like, by December, if I don't have anything ready for this, for the business that I want to do or any plan later or anything like i am really slacking truly because i've been talking about this since before i moved here but i was just waiting on certain things and i thought like certain things would play out before i like made my own business and like that's the thing everyone's like make merch but it's like i want it to be more than merch you know what i'm saying but i think i should just like start out with like a couple like different little like shirts and things and pants and then like work my way into other stuff like you gotta start somewhere you know for anyone wondering this is the prettiest like barbie pink blush it's the juvia's plays palette um it's the blush palette in volume four it is so fucking pretty um it's very pigmented so you have to be very careful it's so freaking good like literally so good and then i put a little bit on my forehead this lighting is not it. it's really not giving i need a new ring light because y'all if y'all could see this ring light i mean y'all know how the ring light be acting she be acting up in every video be trying to take me the fuck out okay now i'm gonna use this jaclyn hill palette and i'm gonna use this shade which i don't really normally go in with the shade i normally just use bronzer but i don't know today i just feel like doing it for some reason also i'm a little nervous to tell tiktok that i will be stopping p.o box hauls but honestly this has been something that i've been thinking about for so long like a couple months now and i've even talked to other content creators about it just because whenever i started my p.o box videos i was in a very different time in my life i was in a different place and it's been almost a year now and i feel like it's time for the next chapter um the stuff really does build up and um i was debating whether i wanted to do a giveaway or take it to a woman's shelter but i really feel like with the holidays and stuff coming up the best thing would be for me to take it to a woman's shelter and donate it because i've donated so much stuff to goodwill in the past and after seeing certain videos like it makes me never want to donate to them again just because like what the fuck like goodwill literally upcharges on everything and it's like the fact that I pay so much for shit and I give it to Goodwill to not even receive any money and then they upcharge people is really fucking disgusting. And it's concerning. It's alarming to be 
honest like what the hell i wish i was like one of those thrifting girlies that could like genuinely go and find all the good stuff but like that never happens to me like i found good stuff at the vintage y2k like thrifting event that i went to the other day but um i posted those hauls on tiktok i found three juicy couture jackets but that's because it was like a y2k event like it was there obviously i was gonna find stuff like that but like these girls be finding the best stuff like the cute playboy stuff all that stuff they just always find the good stuff everyone's been asking me about how i feel on on, like the whole playboy bunny thing and why i support them and stuff like that and the thing is like ugh, it's just such a touchy subject because i don't want people to think that i'm supporting like obviously like you could say i guess that i'm supporting a brand that like treated women really poorly and like used them and stuff like that but at the same time like I watch all of Holly's like podcasts and stuff and I watch Bridges stuff and it's like they still keep stuff from this time because it was like iconic for them and obviously the way Hugh Hefner went about certain shit was disgusting like I already know that it's wrong with some of the stuff that he did like it's disgusting but at the same time like his brand and like what happened like gave these girls a life I feel like they know that too and they've talked about it like in certain podcasts and stuff and like obviously not everyone's gonna agree with me but like when I look at my Playboy Bunny stuff like I don't know for some reason I don't think like Hugh Hefner I just think like oh my god playboy like I don't know I just think the bunnies are so cute like I literally this is gonna sound so bad but my first tattoo is a playboy bunny and why because I literally just thought the brand like the brand playboy the symbol and everything was so cute and that was before I knew everything about like what's going on with playboy this lighting is atrocious like seriously what is going on but that was before i knew like everything that was like happened with playboy and then i watched like the playboy documentaries and stuff like that but like not all of the playboy stuff was bad and like i feel like that's the thing like people are so quick to you know want cancel culture about certain stuff and it's just like i don't know like i can understand like wanting to like completely not support certain people and certain um brands when you know obviously everything that they're involved in is disgusting and immoral and gross but and I mean I know some people probably think that about Playboy but me personally I like the brand and I know that not all of it was bad so that's why I still do like a lot of the Playboy stuff and it's like a collector's thing I don't know like a lot of people collect old vintage Playboy stuff because it was iconic I think Cardi B is like ahead of the like whole thing now anyways so there's that but i'm just using a dark brown liner to line the top the top part of my eyelid but yeah everyone always asks me to talk on that and it's like i know that like it's not the best brand as far as like the stuff that hugh hefner used to do and stuff but at the same time like i don't know but then again like there is certain stuff that i don't agree with like for instance the marilyn monroe thing like the fact that he bought that picture and like it blew up and like she didn't even really get any money from it like that's gross so now i'm gonna spray my face with a max mac fix plus now i'm gonna use my new fan i got this off of amazon it's like a leopard fan because my other one broke and i just fan my face i have i have like the automatic one um that you can just use but i don't know what i do with my charger so i haven't used it in a long time okay y'all so i just put um lash glue on my eyelashes and i just put it on my eyelid and now i'm gonna use the makeup revolution just my type and this little m213 brush from morphe and i'm gonna put it on my nose i always just put it on the tip of my nose like that I am so sorry this lighting is so trash. I just put it on my nose like that and then I make like an exclamation point. And now I put some under my eyebrow. Okay y'all, uh, now I'm going to take off my foundation because girl. Wait, I mean what? Are you excited to go camping this weekend? Mm-hmm. Are you going to go trick or treating? Mm-hmm. I get some candy wood. Okay, anyways, y'all. It's too much going on right now. I'm gonna be using the NYX lip liner in New Truffle and I'm gonna line my lips. Okay, so this is what it looks like and now I'm just gonna fill it in. And then I'm going to put on my lashes. Everyone always asks me what lashes I use and I swear I've said it a hundred million thousand times but they're from um, Be Extra Beauty. It's a small business and they're in the style Virgo which is so crazy because I'm a Virgo. So is the founder of Be Extra Beauty. 
Oh my gosh, I have to reapply this one because they were at different parts of my eye. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna apply this eyelash and I'm gonna be right back when I'm all dressed and everything, but yeah. Okay you guys, that is gonna be the end of this video. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I thank you so freaking much. This is what the final look looks like. This is how I do my makeup literally all the freaking time. Remember, every single video, um, if you guys wanna comment down below the videos you guys wanna see, just leave that in the comment section down below. Make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your post notification girl so you can get notified every single time that I post. And that is gonna be it for this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time, bye.